Hello everyone. Welcome to another video of mine. This is not a regular update of my game. This is just a tutorial on how to create a basic minimap like the one that I had in my game. First of all, I apologize for the terrible voice and lag. They are both terrible. I'm recording this at low FPS, so forgive me. Anyways, let's get started the way I did was in my game is to create a camera have a camera follow around the uh, character and it's gonna be on top of the character and it's gonna draw whatever underneath it so I have a camera here I'm just going to rotate it so it will be facing downward like that like in the X direction and you can set the height wherever you want you know uh, I'm just gonna have the height so 90, oh, 100 I think it's fine. And as you can see in the camera preview, since it's a perspective projection, it's going to draw depth. So you see the fog in the camera. We do not want that. We do not want any depth. So to uh, make it go away, can you have it orthographic? And wow, there you go. We have a clear uh, map. <laughs> so uh, to bring down the. Uh, this, as you can see, the camera is way all the way down there. I don't really want that, so bring down the far clip plane. Don't worry, so it fits the actual uh, size of the map. Okay, then uh, I'm just going to bring down the size. Well, you know, I can click this little white box and bring it down mm, to 25. I think it's fine for my purpose. You, c you can play around with it and just, you know, figure out which one is right for you. And uh, right now, we have the camera set up so we can just draw it to test it out and see if it's really working I am going to use the depth to draw it on the screen how the depth worked is uh, the one with the lowest depth will be drawn first and the one with the highest depth will be drawn later in this case the main camera has a depth of zero this camera has a depth of zero also so it's gonna make this one so it will be dr always drawn on top of the uh, the main camera and I do not want these layers in my minimap. And in the game view, yes, we see the actual minimap camera. And to make it fancy, I'll just move the X direction uh, to the right. And oops, the other direction. Just a small minimap, I think. And let's decrease the width. You know, you can play around with the numbers. I'm not, I'm not really going going to play with those. Okay, that's fine. Let's test it. And yes, we have a mini map, but it's not doing anything. No, it's not moving at all. So, to make it move, I'm going to create a script. You can parent the camera to the uh, player if you want, but I do not like the fact that the camera, a mini map camera, and the player is one unit do not like that so what I want is I just want to treat the minimap camera as a separate piece and the player kick as a separate piece so I'm gonna create a script called camera follow and I had a skeleton it out so it doesn't have anything I am going to program it if you're completely new to unity scripting please I advise you to go to 3dbus.com and they have a lot of information on you know every tutorial even from the beginner uh, beginning to the end you know so public transform target this is the target the camera is going to follow so in every update well you know let's make it late update so cuz uh, uh, this w the late update will be uh, handled uh, after all the update so gonna do transform dot position I'm just gonna set the uh, the position of the camera to a new vector well which is uh, basically the uh, players position no, target dot position dot X dot, oh God I can't type transform dot position dot y trans oh target position dot 
what it's basically doing is setting the uh, players, setting the camera's X position to the to be the uh, player's position, and the uh, Z position to be the uh, player's Z position. But the Y position is unchanged. It's going to be whatever you set in the initially. So yeah, to make it work, I have to drag this script to the camera and drag FPC to the target. I do not really like the naming. Mini map. Click play and yay, we got a mini map. And as you can see, it's moving. Well, this is not a very optimized version. And this, if you actually uh, play it in your uh, player, the draw cards will be high because uh, the, uh, the camera, the actual terrain is drawn twice. To make it more optimized, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this terrain and duplicate it. I press Control D. I'm going to rename this to be Minimap. Minimap terrain. Let's create. Oh, never mind. Minimap terrain, and this is the same terrain as the one that you have. What I'm going to do is lower its uh, quality. So what I'm going to do is set the base map to 70. I tested it out, so 70 seems to be fine. So you can see the terrain clearly. And I'm going to. Uh, up this uh, pixel error and I'm gonna decrease everything else so it's not gonna draw any trees or anything and uh, well this is not gonna this is not this is worse than what we had before if you run it right now because it's gonna draw two terrains every camera is going to draw two terrains so it's like four terrains so it's even bad so to make it optimized I have created a layer for the minimap if you don't know how to create a layer, go to Add Layer and type in a minimap layer. So, so let's assign this terrain a layer. I'm gonna write in the mini, uh, assign the minimap layer. Layer. I'm gonna put the uh, minimap in a minimap layer, and I'm going to set the. Uh, oops. Oh, and I'm gonna reset the main camera. I'm gonna make the main camera so it only draws the actual terrain, the main terrain, and it's not going to draw the minimap terrain, so like that. So uncheck minimap, so it will not draw the uh, second uh, minimap terrain. And I'm going to go to minimap camera, and you don't want this camera to draw the main terrain and the minimap terrain, so to make it do nothing, and only check minimap terrain, so it's only, it's only going to draw the minimap terrain. So let's test it out. There you go. It does not have the uh, the player blob in the minimap as it had before. Well, you know this will be fine if you really like uh, you know square tr uh, minimaps, but I personally prefer circular uh, minimaps. So it's going to go a little bit advanced topic since it's going to be dealing with shaders and all that. So I wrote a custom shader. If you don't know how to write shaders best place I can point you to is Unity website. That's where I learn how to write shaders. They have a lot of information. You know, they can uh, if you're a basic uh, well if you're a if you don't even know what shader is, just go there and just read and pretty sure you'll pick it up. This is just a basic shader. This deals with alpha blending if you're familiar with that and I think you'll pick it up really quick. Oh, I think I made a mistake. Oh, yep, uh, you can copy this shader and use it in your project if you want. And that's that's the shader. Uh, what I'm going to do is, yeah, so we got the shader. Now what we need is two more things. I actually created it as a t test project. I'm going to delete it. I'm going to start everything from scratch. Delete all. What we need is a render texture. And I sh I'm telling you, render texture is only pro, Unity Pro only. If you don't have Unity Pro, I am really, really sorry to hear that. Mini uh, texture. What I'm going to do is have the camera target texture. Go to target texture. I'm going to select the minimap texture, and so now the camera will 
draw its contents to the minimap texture instead to the screen. So we don't 